it's Tuesday there. I've lost track of the date. <laughs> but um, I've come out early with Jenny. I think it's about quarter to eight. And um, we've literally gone nowhere and she's turned around to go back home. So just where that car is there, that's the start of the park. And this is how far we've got to here. And she's turned around. She wants to go back home. Don't you? Jenny? It could be because we left my husband in the backyard and she always likes to be in the backyard with him. She doesn't want to feel like she's missing out. <laughs> so that's probably what it is. So I've done a bit of sniffing. Let's go back home, Mum. So here we are back in the shop. It's about quarter past nine. Um, I took Jenny home and then I went out for a walk on my own because I wanted a bit of extra exercise. I'm trying to exercise more and this weather has not been good for that. Um, yeah, I'm not, my officially I don't open till 10, but I was ready. So I thought I'd open up. Um, I've put lots of things outside, so fingers crossed, although there doesn't seem to be a lot of toing and froing of people, but we'll see, we'll see. I've got some stuff to show you that I picked up from the carpet for my shop. So I will do that shortly. I'm just gonna have to sit down and make my list as I like to do first thing in the morning. So they're doing some sort of drilling next door, which is really pleasant and really loud. <laughs> okay, so I said the other day I was trying to work out how to do reels because I've never used reels on my Instagram. Just It's just too many things to take in with doing YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. All trying to keep on top of everything. It's quite a lot to do. But So the reels, um, my husband showed me how to do it on his phone. And he could search for music in the bar thing at the top. Whereas mine doesn't let me. Is that because I've got a business account that I'm restricted to what music I can use? I don't know. Anyway, I've just done another reel to do with the wax melts that I put on that white patchouli and clove one. I've put that one on today. It smells gorgeous um if you don't follow me on instagram facebook and twitter is a bit of a mix if you don't like politics i can maybe do a bit too much of that on there but um certainly facebook and instagram then please go ahead easy to find it's the same name um thanks to sorry i thought somebody was coming in Thanks to Roy for ordering on my website. Very much appreciated. I'll get that in the post soon. Remember, if you're ordering anything from my website or from anybody, not just me, remember there are postal strikes over the next couple of weeks, so things might just take a little bit longer. So a bit of patience may be in order. I had a Facebook reminder. It's a good job, Facebook reminder, because if you're anything like me, everything goes out of your mind. It was somebody's birthday that I went to college with. So when I was... 16 17 um it's a blooming long time ago and it's his birthday and uh so i so i always try and search for an old photo of us you know whoever's birthday it is of us together and uh, i found one of when it was his probably his 18th he was a little bit older than us so i guess it was his 18th birthday um and me and a couple of other friends went round and we played lego <laughs> And we, I don't know what else we did. We ended up on the roof or something. I can't remember. It was a long time ago. But I remember it being a really good day. Um, yeah. So that was lovely memories. About time I did some work, isn't it? Right, are you ready for me to show you some stuff that I picked up on Sunday? Start with the big things. So I got this nice big vase. It's quite heavy. Um no maker's mark i don't think it's anything um antique -y. i think it's a fairly modern piece but i just thought it was a nice big vase so i picked that one up i've got three big stoneware bottles that one this one is really heavy i think it's still full oh yeah can you hear it walker and co holcomb street derby they're all Darby one and this one. So I got those three and a cat basket. I've had one of these before and it sold really quickly, so maybe get that priced up and outside. 
Are you ready for a few more things? I've got this little set of cats. Hear no, see no, speak no evil. Just light, sort of balsa wood painted. I got this glorious chicken. Isn't that gorgeous? Again, it's wood and then painted, but I just love the colours. I got a few little vases. So I got this pair here. And they have got some sort of mark underneath. Does that mean anything to anybody? Um, they look very 70s to me. This is a modern one, but I just thought it was nice. So I didn't want to leave it behind. I got this is really cute, isn't it? Little plant pot. There's the mark underneath. I just thought it was really nice it's pattern and stuff. So I couldn't leave that behind another vase this one it's pretty it looks quite 60s um it says foreign underneath it's like this does that mean anything to you i'll do some research later just thought that was a really nice vase um egg timer i've had a few egg timers they always sell so this is a particularly nice looking one with the metal rim on it there Paper mache boxes, you know I can't resist. So there's this one with the hare and the deer. And do you think that's a fox? Looks like a little fox. And then obviously painted all the way round as well. Just picked up this to go on my wooden box shelf. It's not in the best, I think there's something missing out of the middle there, but still thought it was kind of cute. You love these, look. look this black lacquered box and in there, it's a little bit stiff, but in there, some chopsticks. My dad bought me some beautiful chopsticks back from when he went to Japan and I've lost them, I can't find them anywhere. They were lacquered and then cut away, just beautiful. Can't find them. Most upset, must have got lost in moves or well, I don't know what happened to them because definitely I wouldn't have thrown them away as a conscious decision. Uh, I got this vase. Um, I just liked it. No other reason than that. Um, there's no... Can you see there's a sticker there with that on it? But no other sort of maker's mark. Makes me think it's like a home potter's type piece. It's quite, quite heavy. Um, was there anything else? A couple more things. I picked up this cat. Can you see how long his tail is? It has been broken and re-mended, re <laughs> glued. Um, but somebody will still love him, surely. I'll get that priced up and outside. A simple glass vase, because you can't go wrong. A little display case, which I thought was sweet. And that's it. I'm really to show you this look. You see that? It's like a key ring with a basket. I bought the chicken from a lady. I think she was from Thailand or somewhere like that. And she said, oh, you're my first customer of the day. I'll give you one of these for free. And, oh, I thought it was really sweet. It's about 11 o'clock. I've had a couple of sales. It's not bad. Absolute bonuses. My daughter's made me a nice coffee. So I've got that to enjoy. Um, I was just chatting to my sister-in-law on messages and up there, up north, they're expecting like 42 degrees. Oh, we haven't got anything like that here. It's actually a bit overcast at the moment. I'm a bit hungry. So I'm going to drink my iced coffee, eat my emergency nuts. She's just been in with a little baby, 14 weeks old, just in a nap in a little sun hat. She's carrying it around on her hip and I just thought, oh, I miss that so much. I still love carrying my children around on my hip. It's a long time since I did that. Uh, they are, how old are they? 24, 22 and 19. My eldest has just messaged us to say that they've recorded 39 point something in Surrey, which is where he lives, as the temperature. And he said, if you go outside, it's like being in an oven in tin foil. <laughs> it's quiet today. Um, but I'm just sort of pottering along. I don't seem to be able to get on with anything at any speed today, but never mind. It's just one of those days. Uh, I have got, or oh, it's, um, 
don't know what the name is. My husband made it. It's got raspberries in the middle. I think it's a bit like a raspberry flapjack with a bit of custard. Very nice. It's raining, so I better go out and check that nothing's going to get wet because I don't want my stock getting wet. I put a mid-century uh, telephone table outside, so I've brought that in, but everything else can stay out. It's under the blinds, so they're not getting wet wet. It's just if it splashes back. It's really overcast and it's been raining but it's very very humid as well like there's no air um so i'm glad i've only got this light jumpsuit on i've remembered i bought something else at the coffee that i haven't shown you shown you so look at these so they're like wooden mdf panels that have been painted on the framing's not great can you see that but the paintings are good so this one on the back says god do call 1843 to 1871 Prussian so that's obviously a Prussian uniform is this one Predbazhensky Guardsman 1914 Russia I'm sure my pronunciation is very good is this one that says Papal states Vatican Guardsman, 1506. Finally, this one. And that says Presidential Curacier, Italian, 1970. I mean, yeah, I just thought they were interesting and worth a chance. So part of me feels like better off just selling the panels taking them off the frames and selling the panels online but I don't know what do you think I've just shared a post to my Instagram and Facebook and that oh the sun's come back out again it's been really dark but the sun suddenly reappeared as I was talking Ta -da! um <laughs> sorry um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I just shared a post to my Instagram, Facebook, basically saying, why not share with a friend? Because the best way to get business is through word of mouth. So if you have friends who love vintage, who love independent retailers, who like watching vlogs, etc., etc., I would really appreciate it if you could share my page, my YouTube, my Facebook, my Instagram, whatever, with uh, your friends sometimes without directly suggesting it just by liking and commenting on my posts it will become uh, more visible to them anyway so liking commenting and sharing my posts is always appreciated well, that's quite funny i had uh, two people in and uh, they started talking in german and um one said to the other it's better if we talk in a different language, then they can't understand what we're saying. <laughs> Little do they know that I can understand German. It did make me giggle. I thought it's a while since I took a little video of what's inside any of the cabinets. So I've just done a quick video of that cabinet. I'll stick that in the video so you can have a little look. I'll do more around the shop if you're interested. Just let me know what sort of things you want to look at. Um, better still have a look at my website or even better, Come down to Devon, come down to Ottery St Mary and visit my shop. Right, thank you very much for watching. Comments, shares, thumbs ups are always appreciated. I really do appreciate it. I hope you're staying safe in this hot weather. Look after yourselves and I'll see you soon.